So Mother's Basement posted his Higurashi video while I was making this one. And he sounds as full of himself as ever. And shrill wine incessantly drills into your mind as the unrelenting heat assaults your body. Like, shut the fuck up, bitch. Higurashi is the most wholesome show ever. The main friend group in Higurashi is amazing. They are basically the perfect friend group. Everyone is super fun, they all have great chemistry, and it's just nice to see that they all have a great time together. What could possibly cause this group to break apart? The horror of Higurashi is based on that fear. Specifically, the fear that forces outside anyone's control can affect your friends to the point of having negative effects on everyone in the group. In the case of Higurashi, they go insane and start murdering people. In the show, the obvious force outside anyone's control is the government conspiracy exploiting the Hinamizawa syndrome. No one in the friend group has any idea about the agency, and so they aren't able to do anything about it. More realistically though, each character has their own personal struggles that seem extremely difficult to actually solve. Just to name a few, Shion has Satoshi's death, Satoko has her uncle, and Reina has her parents' divorce. Just like these characters, the people in your friend group have personal struggles which you cannot prevent. Just like how Keiichi can't stop Reina's parents from getting a divorce since he can't time travel, you can't prevent your real life friend's parents from divorcing either, and single unfortunate events usually lead to more unfortunate effects. For Reina specifically, the misfortune started with her parents' divorce. This led to her dad getting a new girlfriend, which led to him being exploited for money, which led to his safety being threatened, which led to Reina confronting the girlfriend, which led to her killing the girlfriend. As Reina says in episode 23, I think misfortunes cause chain reactions. Once it starts, it's difficult to get out of it. In order to escape, it takes great effort. And so what happens if you can't prevent every single problem your friends might have? The answer Higurashi seems to give is that the unfortunate events build, and then your friends go insane and murder a bunch of people. And then the timeline resets, and you have to watch it all over again. The embodiment of this hopeless feeling is Rika. She has seen her friends continuously tear each other apart and lost all hope. It seems like there's nothing she can do to keep this from happening, because everyone just has too many of their own problems that no one can do anything about. But Higurashi does present a solution to this problem. In the Reina arc, the last few episodes of season 1, we follow Reina as she is pushed into despair seeing her dad get taken advantage of, and eventually resorts to murder because she doesn't see any other way out and then her friends find out. Keiichi asked Reina why she needed to be pushed this far. After all, they were friends, and friends are meant to support each other in hard times. Reina could have fallen back on the emotional support of her friends, but she didn't. Reina says she didn't seek help from her friends because based on her past experiences, she didn't believe her friends would have helped her. But Keiichi sees that all he has to do to get rid of Reina's mindset is to display trust and support. He says that since they are friends, he will believe that this horrific murder was the very, very last thing she could have done. And then, everyone puts their hands together, showing that they all trust Reina's judgement and they will try to support Reina by continuing to be friends. Basically, the best friend squad decides to continue being best friends who will support each other in their times of need and also bury the chopped up corpses of the people Reina murdered. But also, after realizing that the solution to Reina's problem is communication, it becomes clear that everyone's problems could have been solved if the friends just talked to each other about said problems. If Keiji had been able to get through his paranoia, he could have easily just talked with Mion and Reina and realized they weren't trying to kill him. However, he is held back by his Hinamizawa syndrome, which throughout the series represents the mindsets and situations holding back each character from seeking help from each other. Everyone has something holding them back from finding help, Satoko doesn't want her friends to help, Reina thinks her friends wouldn't help, Keiji thinks his friends are trying to kill him, and Shion has no friends. But if they had been able to get past these mindsets and situations, they would have had the support of friends who they could talk through their problems with. And so the main message of Higurashi is that even though you might not be able to prevent your friends from having struggles in their lives, you can still help them out by just talking to them. And if you are having a struggle, you don't need to murder someone and cut up their body, all you need is someone to talk to, and if you have friends, then your solution is right there. Other good horror anime often have a nihilistic and terrifying view of humanity. 
Shiki, one of my favorites, bases the most prominent part of its horror in themes around human nature. But while Higurashi also makes very good use of its own thematic horror, the themes ultimately turn out to be extremely wholesome. And because of that, when you see Reina get talked out of her insanity, the first time this has happened for anyone, and the camera focuses on Rika, the person who had given up all hope, and she's crying, it's heartwarming. Don't beat your friends to death with a baseball bat. Don't kidnap and murder them. Don't blow up the school. Don't kill your stepmom and chop up her body. Just talk to your friends. But like, if you already cut up the body, then your friends can also help you deal with that too.